Once I got serious about road racing, I needed to be efficient with my time. I needed to uh, be smart about the way that I rode and trained. And it became very clear early on that a power meter was the tool that was gonna help you do that. The power meter market um, has always remained a fairly small niche market for really committed racers and, and enthusiasts. We wanted to be more than just a power meter. We wanted more information. We wanted more than just watts. We're committed to ongoing um, improvements. And that's what we tried to roll into Vector 2. There's a couple significant improvements. One is inside the pedal, so you wouldn't see it visibly, and that's uh, an improvement in the bushing system. It should be longer lasting and uh, give greater performance of the pedal itself. Um, but the most significant update is to the pedal pod. The pedal pod's been completely redesigned in that you now just install your pedal as you normally would. So the pedal pod wraps around the pedal spindle, um, tighten it down with the hex key, and then just insert the connector on the back as you normally would. Our vision was to do more than just report watts from the start. Because we measure at the interface of the cyclist ends and the bike. It's interesting how as power goes up here. We can see these forces and we can see how you're pedaling. And so with cycling dynamics, it's going to be a growing suite of, of data measurements that report back to the cyclists what they're doing. We're launching three new metrics. Um, the first is a position metric. And I'm telling you, what's your position on the bike? Are you standing or are you seated? It's really for post-ride analysis. When you're evaluating a climb, at what point were you standing? At what point were you seated? Um, what are your different metrics for those different positions? The second metric we call power phase, and that shows you where in the pedal stroke, your left and your right, you start to produce positive power and where you end producing positive power. And the third we call platform center offset. And this describes very specifically where on the pedal body that the cyclist is applying force throughout the pedal stroke. So when you're applying force, are you applying it outboard on the outsides of the pedals, on the inside of the pedals, or right down the center? From vector one to vector two, um, we're making significant progress. And I think continuing to just make it uh, a product that you can depend upon, that gives you accurate, repeatable results. I think what I'm excited about is just the commitment of the company and of Garmin to constantly improve this product.